Here's Tony Award winning nominated actor, the first black man to play Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman on Broadway, straight from the premiere of his new CBS series, Elsbeth. Please welcome Wendell Pierce. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be here with you to recognize this magnificent artist with the 2024 ABFF Honors Excellence in the Arts Award. Jeffrey reaches deep inside to discover for himself who the characters are that he's playing. And then he gives them to us. Illuminated by his deep knowledge, and then he takes our breath away with that delivery, and time after time after time, interpreting those who have lived and those brought to life by the writer's imagination. Now, I feel honored tonight because I was asked to present this award to him. It's not often in life that you get to share the deep appreciation that you have for the work of a dear friend and colleague. Jeffrey, you may not know the impact that you have on many of your colleagues so I'm here to give voice to them. We've known each other since those days in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, a little arts renaissance that was happening in the 80s and 90s, where we had artists like Lorna Simpson, visually, and musicians. I was living with Winton and Branford Marcellus on Washington Avenue at the time, and then Spike Lee, did a little film called She's Gotta Have It and had his office right down the street. And in that same neighborhood, folks were talking about this actor, this guy, Jeffrey Wright from DC. He had come to New York, spent a little time at NYU, but then he got out there real soon because he was that good. I saw him on stage. He did Midsummer Night's Dream and uh, Les Blancs in DC, worked with the acting company. And then I saw him on stage do Belize, which he won a Tony for in Angels from America. But I thought about what I would say tonight, knowing that we were young men then and now have come to this place. I realized that while he is a friend and a colleague, he is also a mentor to me. Because I have never seen anyone who is so authentic authentically truthful to their work and to their art. In America, we have lost the understanding of what art means and the role of art in our society. Entertainment is just a byproduct of what we do. It is what thoughts are to the individual, where at night we think about where we've been, where we hope to go, our triumphs, our failures, and who we hope to become that's what art is for the society as a whole, where we come together collectively and reflect on who we are, who we hope to be, what our values are, and then we go out into the world to act on those values. That is the role of art and the role of a great artist like Jeffrey Wright. And I was playing the role of Willie Loman on Broadway Every night I thought about this man who had come to the end of his rope, who had lost all hope, who had lost courage and vision, a man who th thought his best days were behind him. And he lost the courage that someone like Jeffrey Wright has. And courage is acting not in the absence of fear, but in the face of it. Stepping up to the plate when you think you may not have a message to give and you find that humanity within yourself to give it. That is what is expressed in what he does. And he also has 
the understanding that a great gift has been given to him and a great platform has been given to him by those who went before. That great Moses generation of Ozzie Davis, Sidney Portier, and the man we honor tonight also, Harry Belafonte, we saw in the memorial. Those people who came before us, that Moses generation that gave us, this Joshua generation, the opportunity to do what we do. Jeffrey has grabbed that baton and moved forward in a way that many of our generation can only dream of doing. He is par excellence, black excellence at his highest. He has set the bar high for us all to achieve what we dream of achieving. He understands where his role is in the curve of all those who have come before and those he knows he's influencing now, like myself, and those who are to come in the future. That is a great responsibility that he welcomes as an artist, and it's so evident in his work. And so now, let's take a look at his extraordinary ability to transform. 